Hi guys! Today we're going to do um, another lesson on pollinators and we're going to talk about another kind of pollinator which is a butterfly. And butterflies are my favorite kind of pollinator because they are so beautiful. They all are very different. Like I have this beautiful blue butterfly. I have one that is beautiful and pink. I have one that is orange. And I have this one that has a little bit of red up top and a little bit of yellow underneath and lots of black and gray in it. So the reason I have all of these butterfly pictures to show you is because um, I wanted to teach you something, a cool new math word that has to do with butterflies. So this word is called symmetrical. So symmetrical, what it means Excuse me. Symmetrical, what it means is that if you fold it in half, like this, then it's the exact same on this side as it is on this side. That means it's going to have the same shape, it will have the same colors in the same places. So the first thing I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to fold it in half. Let's see. Oh yeah, look, this, the edges line up perfectly like this. Okay, so it's symmetrical in shape. Let's see if it's symmetrical in colors too. So on this side, it looks like there's a blue strip and a blue strip. That's the same. Then it looks like there's yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot. Then it looks like there's one yellow dot at the bottom. Same, same. So this butterfly is symmetrical. Let's see if there are more symmetrical butterflies. Okay, let's look at this pretty pink. Oh, I love pink, it's so beautiful. Okay, so to see if it's symmetrical, we're going to fold it in half. All right, let's see. Do the wings line up? Oh, yeah, they look the same. Let me show you what it would look like if it was not symmetrical. So this shape, if we fold it this way, it is not symmetrical because look, I can see from the paper behind, they don't line up all the way. And if I turn it this way, you can see more of the paper behind. So those are not symmetrical. This one, when you fold it, they line up perfect. They are symmetrical. So here's my symmetrical butterfly. Let's look at the wings and the way that the wings are and we'll see if those are symmetrical as well. So on this one, it has one, two, three pink dots on top. And on this side, it has one, two, three pink dots on top. On this one, it has a stripe of dots. And on this one, it has a stripe of dots. And on this side, there's one antenna. And on this side, there's one antenna. Right? That looks symmetrical, too. Okay, I'm going to show you one, and I want you to decide if it is symmetrical or not. And I want you to tell me why it's symmetrical or is not symmetrical. Okay, so let's do this red one. All right, I'm gonna fold it in half to see if they line up. Let's see. This one might just not get folded very good just because it's my fault. Okay, so here it is, the wings. Ready? Okay, are they symmetrical? Do they line up? Yes, they are. And then you have the one antenna, the one antenna. Okay, look at the pattern on the wings and tell me, is it symmetrical or not symmetrical and why? Okay, so now that we have our symmetrical butterflies and we know what symmetry means, I want to show you an art project to make your own butterfly that is symmetrical. So for my project, I chose three paint colors because I already have paint at my house. But if you do not have paint at your house, then in the email that I sent your mommy and daddy, there's ways to make paint so you can make it with their help. 
So I'm going to get, I just have a little tray that I keep my paints in. So my first color that I have is pink. And I'm going to put it in here in this pink area. And the next color I have is orange. And I'm going to put my orange over here in my orange area. And I have a purple. And I'm going to put my purple in this area. And I put all three of my paints in one, two, three different spots so they wouldn't mix together and make an ugly color. Because I want them to be different so I can see the different colors on my butterfly. Okay, so for my art project, I already have these butterfly pieces cut out. Because I had them left over from last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide half the butterfly. I only want to paint on one side of the butterfly. So you can hide it if you want. Or you can maybe cover it with a piece of paper. Because we don't want to paint on the whole thing. We just want to paint on this half of it. So what should I do? I am going to... Here's my butterfly. And I'm only painting on half of my butterfly. This half says, no way, Jose. Okay, so I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do three purple dots, if you will help me count three. Maybe let's do one, two, three purple dots, and I think that I will do two pink dots at the bottom, one, two pink dots. And then I think I will do two orange stripes. Let's do ready. One. A stripe is like the same as a line. So one and two. Okay, so that is the pattern I want to make on my butterfly. I only did it on half the butterfly. And now I'm going to fold it and have to make it symmetrical. Ready? And I'm going to push and squeeze 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 on it and then when I open it up after squeezing on it the paint from one half went on to the other half and now my butterfly has symmetrical paint designs on it so I'm going to show you if you do not have butterfly cutouts at your house but you want to make your symmetrical butterfly this is how we're going to do it so you just need to get a piece of paper and fold it in half. And it's kind of like how we did on Valentine's Day where we learned how to cut out hearts for each other. So you're going to, okay, here's my side that's folded. This side is where I can open it up. I don't want to write on that side. I want to write on this side that's folded, okay? So I'm going to put it down. Here's my folded side. And I'm going to draw a number three. Ready? Number three, like that. Then once I have my number three drawn on the folded side, see, on the folded side, I'm going to get my scissors, and I'm going to keep it folded while I cut out, just like when we did our hearts for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to make my scissors eat the black lines, because their tummies are always so hungry for lines for dinner. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I cut my number three out. And then when you open it up, it looks like butterfly wings. And then, now that you have your butterfly that's, let's see, is symmetrical in its shape, you can get your paint on your butterfly. And then do the exact same thing that we did before. You can fold it in half once you're done painting and squeeze and push down hard on it so the paint gets on both sides of the paper and when you open it up it is symmetrical okay um after you make your butterfly pictures i want you to send me a picture or a video of yours and i want you to tell me what about your butterfly that you made is symmetrical and what symmetrical means.